What do you do if you have someone who comes up to you and say they didn't land on the moon? Well, you take them to this issue of Spacecraft Guide and you show them the LLRRR and explain to them without this experiment on the moon that people put there, you wouldn't have GPS. Would you like to take an interactive virtual tour of this spacecraft or this spacecraft or this spacecraft or even this spacecraft? Well, stay till the end and we'll show you how. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, we are going to go on a new journey. Matter of fact, we're going to go onto the surface of the Apollo 11 landing site and we are going to not only go over the laser ranging retro reflector but we're also going to go into video and text with image for those of you who use 3D or virtual reality goggles like Oculus. When you are on the surface of the moon for the Apollo 11 landing site and you see the LRRR or the laser ranging retro reflector and you click on it, it takes you to the laser ranging retro reflector page, the LRRR. Now, this is a passive experiment consisted of a hundred fused silica cubes on Apollo 11 arranged to reflect a beam of light back on a parallel path to its origin. The LRRR is placed on the moon, was aligned precisely so that faced the Earth. Scientists from around the world directed laser beams with instruments which reflected them back to the Earth. The elapsed time for the trip allowed precise measurements of distances down to an accuracy of 8 centimeters between the Earth and Moon. Now, this led to the this theory to how our GPS system works, because basically it's detecting how long it takes light to bounce between you and the satellites and triangulation. So that the very beginning of what GPS is started here. And if you go to schematics, we'll see the details of how it or what's on it. So this is the unit itself with right here are the silico uh, cubes. They're actually called corner cubes. And with the rear support, the alignment handle, all of that comes down to support these corner cubes. And what is so amazing about them is that they're cut in the way that all the surfaces are parallel to each other, which is really, really fascinating. So what happens is if a beam of light comes in and hits that silica, they bounce back exactly parallel back to where they were. So you got to remember the moon is a quarter million miles away and they shoot a laser light at it. And it, this corner cube, actually allows the light to bounce back and the exact and 90 degrees so it comes back to the source and they can actually measure it that is amazing so that's what we have for uh the corner cubes and uh we're going to go back for the uh patreon subscribers we're going to go back and i'm going to show a little extra thing i gave you a hint at the beginning of what is going to be uh, or what the Patreon subscribers get. So if you're not a Patreon subscriber, now is the time to do that. That's all for this week. If you would like to use this interactive virtual reality exhibit, 
on the command module, the lunar module, and the surface of the moon, just go to our Patreon page and the link will be down below.